Jeremy J. And today's video topic is Be Detached to Be at Peace. So I want to talk about a philosophy of life. And the, there's a great man called, called, there's a great man, his name is Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N. And he was a very, very prominent person in the field of personal development, personal improvement. And he talks about our philosophy in life being like the set of the sail, meaning, and what that means is that the wind will come at us from various directions, and the only thing that we can do is adjust our sails to the wind. And so how this applies to this detached philosophy of being detached to be at peace is like this. Any situation you're having in your life whatever is happening, if that situation is is changing you from being peaceful and happy and centered with yourself to feeling nervous, anxious, insecure, and wanting something really badly, then that means you are attached to whatever that thing is in your life. So think of it like this. Let's say that you are wanting a job really bad. You want to get this job so bad. Let's say that you want to be a waiter at your favorite restaurant. And you're, you've applied, you've talked to people there, and you're not getting the job. And you're really frustrated and you start to get angry. So think of, this is my water bottle here, so think of this as the outcome you want. And that's to get the job at your favorite restaurant. And this is you. Whatever happens at that restaurant that goes this way or this way you are stuck to that if it goes somewhere like you not getting the job to a painful thing and it goes crashing down to the ground you go crashing along with it what I would ask you to consider is to take something like this outcome that you want and to just look at it from afar and be an observer and if it goes crashing down you just are a simple observer saying huh interesting and if it shoots up and does awesome things, you're like, cool, that's interesting. And the reason that's powerful is because if the situation crashes and burns for you, like you didn't get that job, you're okay with it because you're really just a casual observer in your life. You're not too concerned with the outcome. You'll do the things that you think you can do to have something happen, but in the end, if it doesn't happen, you're not attached to it, and you're not going to crash and burn with the situation. Uh, I'm going to read about something that someone actually contacted me, and it was great. And she's a, a young woman, and she was telling me about this on-again, off-again situation with her boyfriend. And right now they are on the on-again part of their relationship. She was saying that she was so afraid to lose him this time. And the guy had a temper, and there were some things about him that she didn't like. But she feels like this is the man for her. So I asked her about the other areas of her life, and she said that she was doing great with her schooling and career, but for the last little while she's let her body go a little bit. And I thought that's very interesting because that coincides with this guy that she's been talking to with her getting back together with him. So I told her, I said, think about what you really want and think about this situation. Is it a situation that's making you happy? And she said, well, I don't feel happy right now. I feel, I, she reached out to me. She, she said, I need your help. She's wanting badly this situation to work out, and she's afraid to lose this guy. And so what she's doing is she's, she's latching on to this outcome, and wherever it goes, she's going to go. If it crashes and burns, she's going to crash with the ship. But if she looks back as a casual observer, whatever happens she's not attached to that outcome and this is critical because when it comes to these relationships in this case this is a relationship I'm talking about these are very emotional situations you meet someone you feel all the stuff inside guys and girls feel it differently but we all feel something the detached philosophy is super important it's it's, it's critical in order to one allow yourself to be centered and at peace but two so that you allow the other person space and distance if that's what they need and you're not latched onto them. 
So we talked for a little longer, this gal and I, and I told her to go watch my videos, read my articles. Everything talks about how to be centered in your life, how to be strong, how to be a life wizard who can take anything that is thrown at them in life and handle it and become even better. Uh, I also understand that women are emotional creatures driven by feelings and it takes a special person to recognize when they are doing uh, or what they are doing and to take action to be better and in her case she was very enthusiastic about going to do the work on herself so that she didn't feel needy and insecure with this guy in her life and as she does this and guards her thoughts toward feeling centered with herself and not needing this guy in her life she'll start to be happier she'll start to take actions that are consistent with someone who has a high level of energy excitement and happiness and one of two things will happen this guy will be attracted to that and drawn to it and want to be with her or two it will she will realize that her high level now that she's at is greater than this guy's and she doesn't really want to be with him and so that's what happens when you become detached it allows you to do work on yourself it allows you to not crash and burn if that's what happens in any kind of attempt you're making, but to simply be a casual observer. And this is something I've had to learn this year. I've, I've had to learn to detach myself. It does not mean that you don't care or you don't love or you don't that you don't have care. It, it, it means that you're not going to get rattled. You're not going to get hung up on a situation if it doesn't work out. So fellow wizards, learn to detach yourself from outcomes that means if you're spending time thinking about something worrying about something that means it's time for you to do work on yourself whether that's working out whether that's doing your own personal project reading a good book it means to get yourself out of any situation where you're feeling uncentered or having anxious thoughts and to move your life in a direction that is detached and focusing on you and as you do this it's interesting you'll start to attract people in your life because you'll be happy and you'll be an observer and people will meet you and feel no pressure they'll just see this happy person so it's kind of interesting it's sort of paradoxical that the more you distance yourself from expect expectations on outcomes the more people are drawn to you and I've noticed that in the last couple months now not, not everyone I've met has been drawn to me but I've made some real nice connections with people in this short time and I have no doubt in my mind that being detached is a big part of that that people don't feel pressure when they talk to me so there you go go out there and live detached from outcomes so if you'd like to book a coaching session with me there's a link in this video to my products and services page it's very easy go visit the page see what's available through email phone and Skype click the button and follow the instructions. If you'd like to contact me, there's a link to do that as well. I love getting emails like the one I got from this woman today. It was great. Lastly, if you felt that what I shared with you has helped you in your life, then like your favorite waiter at a restaurant, send a tip and help support my work. And I appreciate all the tips I've gotten so far. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I will talk to you again soon.